But it's important to know that Parashat Noach is a critical parasha for every person to know back and forth. Back and forth. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed us there, He doesn't need us. He doesn't need us. Clearly. Anyone that tells you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu needs you, say, well, how come He didn't need the entire world at the time of Noah? Why? We're better than them? How? They were more skilled, they were bigger, they were smarter, there were a lot of things. So what are you talking about? Kadosh Baruch doesn't need us. And that's why we read in the uh, uh, in Tefillah, of, uh, right before the uh, Amidah of uh, Shabbat, of Friday night, says, Hashem lamabul yashav. Hashem sat while uh, the uh, entire flood was happening, meaning he let the world be destroyed. Why? I don't need it. If you're not going to serve me, there's no point. So we learn a lot from Parashat Noach. We also learn that a tzaddik, a tzaddik can make a mistake that can change his entire destiny. He can change his entire reputation in a second. How? By doing the opposite of what he was supposed to do. One example, Rabbi again, Allah wa Shalom, said in a lecture one time, he says, look at Noach. The Torah calls Noach Ish tzaddik tamim bedorotav. A tzaddik, righteous person, tamim, complete with Hashem. Meaning what? Whatever Hashem does, I'm going to do it. Whatever He says, I'm going to do. And I'm okay with it. No, I don't understand, so maybe when I understand, I'll do it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it, but I'm not happy about it. Oh, listen, everybody else is Rashaim. Why should I be that tzaddik? None of that stuff. Noach... Despite the fact that everyone's stealing from each other, eating each other alive, robbing, you know, like the cash advance business. All that stuff, but massive. Everything. People are destroying each other in the streets. Noah says, listen, what they do, it's their problem. I'm with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. No matter what. Mabul's happening. He's in a uh, teva. He's in a teva for how long? For a year. Imagine, the Gemara says, Noah did not even close his eyes for a complete year. Now, you can be a superhero and try to do an all-nighter. The next day, even if you pull the all-nighter, you're like half retarded. Why? You didn't sleep. And the Gemara says, you want to be superhero? You want to stay up for three nights in a row? They hit you and force you to go to sleep. They hit you and force you to go to sleep. Why? Relax. But Noah stayed awake for a year. Why? He didn't want to stay awake. Just that the animals, it was all of the animals. This one eats breakfast at 6 o'clock in the morning. This one eats at 8.30. This one has coffee with sugar. This one only has tea. This one wants orange juice. This one wants gefilte fish. This one wants sardines. Everyone has meals at different times. At 12 o'clock, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Everybody, he's in Australian time. He's in a New York time. He's in uh, CNN. Everybody's in different things. Noah has to feed them little by little. Here you go, here you go, here you go. One time he was late with the lion, the lion hit him, and Noah suffered the entire year because of it. Agony and pain for a year. So imagine, imagine what a tzaddik he was. Imagine there's a pasuk in the Torah that says, you are a tzaddik. Imagine. Imagine that Elchanan is a tzaddik tamim bedorotav. Ishtabach shimol ad. Yaron uven, tzaddik bedorotav. I, I, I give up, I retire, guys. I, I, there's a pasuk in the Torah. Says I'm a tzaddik, I retire, I'm finished. I'm finished. I, I achieved. I achieved my life's goals. It's not pasuk. It's not halal. I go to Olam Abba. What are you talking about? The pasuk in the Torah says that the Noach is East Sadiq Tamim. But then, what do we see? The Gemara says the Mabul is named after Noach. It's not called like in English. It's called the flood. It's what the Kodesh. It's not called the flood. It's, yeah, it's the Mabul. But it's called Mabul Shanoach. What is that like? It's like saying the Holocaust and the Holocaust of Noach. What? I killed everybody? What did I do? I saved everybody. I'm, I'm the reason why you guys are all alive. Why is it called after me? Meaning, you, Noach. Why? Why Noach? First and foremost, Chazal tells us because Noah did not rebuke the people. He had to come back as a Gilgul, Arizal says. 
אז משה רבנו. את קמבק אין גלגול. סקנד, נוח מלא מסטייק. מה מסטייק אתה מייק? מה זה כל פרויינט של כל מה שאני אמרתי? despite being a tzaddik, despite being a tamim, Noach made one mistake that HaKadosh Baruch Hu shows every first grader every year. What? After the whole Mabul is over. What does Noach want? Peace of mind. Leave me alone. I survived a year with all these animals. A year with all these beasts. A year with all the barking. A year with all the peeping. A year with all the this. Cleaning up after everyone. A year. Oh, ah, let me have a drink. Let me have a little drink. Hey, plant, let me get some... A little bit of wine. What's the problem? Kiddush, no? Kadosh Baruch Hu says to Noach, mistake. Why Noach? Why mistake for Noach? If you have a drink for Kiddush, no problem. Noach gets drunk, mistake. Why? Noach, you are East Tzaddik Tamim. You were always... complete with Hashem, never asking any questions, never complaining, never having anxiety, never thinking, oh, I need a break, I need a vacation. You were always shakul b'datcha, you always had your head straight. The wine is the exact opposite of you. Why? What does the wine do? Shake your mind up a little bit. Goes dancing a little bit. Looks over here, looks over there. Sometimes at the same time. Sometimes at the same time. It's not you, Noah. You're tzaddik. You're tzaddik. This is not you. It's like uh, somebody always says, Divre Torah, tu, tu, all wonderful things. All of a sudden, psh, says one of these cuss words. Hashem Yishmo. Hey, what happened? Now, if you see a truck driver... Or somebody at the gas station, or somebody at the store is saying a few curses. Eh, whatever, it's like common language. Common language is a big deal. But someone that has a pekadosh, he says something, it shakes up the world. Why? You're a tzaddik. It's not you. It's not you to do it. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app, full of Torah. Lots of Kedusha by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rabbi Ephraim, Rabbi Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our Cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented, and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to B'chavat